Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy No Limit here, and I'm going to teach you guys a couple of drone spots that I use for my ranked games, casual, standards, whatever it may be, the game modes that you play. And yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two from the drone spots that I showed today, and I hope to see them also in your future gameplays. Hope you guys have a good one and enjoy today's video. So first, guys, we're going to start off with Consulate. And what we're going to do is we're going to make our way on over to Piano Room. Now, the two typical spots I like to put my drone inside a piano room will be on top of this speaker and on top of this plant. So first, you're going to drone on top of this black box. After jumping on top of the black box, you're going to want to hop onto this painting right here. Turn it to the point that you get to the edge of it, and then you'll jump right on top of the speaker, and boom. You got yourself a piano, okay? Next, I'm going to show you how to get on top of the flower pot over here. It's kind of the same concept, just going to jump on top of these chairs, get onto this painting over here that's on the right side. Then you're going to jump on top of the lamp over here, and then you get into the flower pot. And boom, you have yourself a well-hidden drone inside a piano room. So the reason I like these drone spots a lot is because it gives you tons of information, obviously, in piano room. But for those people who like to play verticality for the basement site or playing verticality for a CEO window plant, now, most of the time I would say my speaker drone gets taken out because people either impact the floor or they'll shotgun it out and they'll destroy the drone by accident. And it could possibly happen to the, uh, the flower pot one too, but usually it's mostly with an impact if they ever try to impact the hatch and go for a drop below and flank or something like that for window runouts. But I'd say it's like only 10% of the time maybe that the, these drones will get taken out or even seen. Now for the next spot that I like, we're gonna head on over to Visa office by the front of the building. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our drone on over to the speaker over here inside of Visa office. Now on old constant, there used to be a TV set where the drone was a little bit more hidden and saw a little bit more to the room, but they took that out. So I decided to switch it up and hop on over to the speaker since that got added into it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your drone, hop it on over to this bench. After getting on top of the bench, you're gonna head on to the top of the vending machine. Once you get on top of this vending machine, you're gonna go onto the ceiling plant right here. Doing that, you'll head on over to this fan. Now, in old console, there used to be a TV set on the northeast corner over here, but they removed that from VSA office. So instead, we're gonna be going on top of the speaker over here. Do a little ceiling jump, and boom, you got yourself a VSA office cam. And it sees very well onto VSA. Not as much as it used to be when you were on the TV set. Like when you were on the TV set, you would be able to see the staircase and the double uh, door, excuse me, over here. But now it's a little more blocked off, and you just don't get too much information of this first part of the hallway over here. But you still get a solid look into V's office in case there's a double door run out and you're repelling on admin. Or maybe somebody's deciding to go for a single window jump out if you're on kitchen repel. But it's a, it's a solid drone, and this is one of the ones that I like in case I'm making a visa push as well. So heading on to the next map, Bank, I'm going to show you guys how to get a drone onto the northeast corner of Lobby. So with your drone, you're going to head on over to the spiral stairs in the lobby. Once you head on top of the spiral, you're going to go to Banana. Once you get to the edge of Banana, you're going to get on top of the metal detector over here, then jump on top of the sign that's by this doorway. Once you do so, you're going to jump on top of this speaker that's at the pillar of lobby. After doing that, jump on top of the pillar's ledge right here, and then you're going to go to the farthest edge of that pillar. Once doing so, you're going to line up just like I do with this little pillar over here, Line it up with the gold over here, and then you're going to lick your drone to the side after jumping so it doesn't catch the momentum and fall off the speaker. Once doing so, you're going to jump on top of the pillar once again, turn your drone around, and then you get a full view of lobby. And in case you're on one of those quad window repels for CEO, and somebody's trying to make a flake in lobby and shooting you, you get a good look into banana and just a general good look into lobby itself. It's a great drone. Most of the time, nobody sees it. There's also another drone spot that's over here in this corner, but this one's very inconsistent because for some reason, drones sometimes can't catch onto the painting. And I'm not sure if it has to do with ping or just lobby slash server issues, but it's a very inconsistent drone as to where this one's more consistent, but just a little harder to get. All right, for the next drone spot, we got the map canal. Now with this next drone spot, it's most likely only going to work within prep phase because it has to do with the drone that's going to go directly into site. And it's going to take a little more game sense to get this drone spot because a lot of the time the defenders are going to be setting up site while you get this drone so they won't hear or see your drone because again, they're too busy setting up site. So let me show you how it goes. So starting off where to go, we're going to go up the construction staircase and after doing that, we're going to head up the green stairs. Once you reach the top of the green stairs, you're going to stop your drone. 
Reason being is because you want to kind of catch them off guard and wait till they're setting up sight, meaning they're reinforcing the green walls. Once you hear them reinforcing the green walls, that's when you make your move onto sight, jump on top of this desk, and get on top of this fan right here. Now, sometimes they'll already be done doing one reinforcement. You want to be patient and wait until they reinforce the next wall. Once they're reinforcing the next wall, you're going to jump on top of the ledge of this window right here. And then again, you want to gauge and wait to see what's being set up. If they're setting up, you want to make sure they're making noise so that you can make this next move and it won't give away your drone's position. Now, if they are setting up, what you're going to do is, all you're going to do is jump your drone up into the flower pot, back it up, and now you have a well-hidden drone in sight. And this is exactly what the drone looks like. Heading on over to our next drone spot, it's going to be inside a chalet on top of the mezzanine beams. Now, some of you that watch my content might already know this drone spot, but these are for the new people. Now, with this drone spot, you're going to head on top of the staircase that's by fireplace. Head on over to the bush that's on the southwest of the building. Get on top of that as fast as you can. Now, this drone spot might also take a little bit of gain sense, just like the last one did. But most of the time, the defenders aren't extending too well into the library. And if they do, just play the patient game and just use noise as your best friend. So after doing so, making your way on top of the bush, you're going to head on to the edge of it. You're going to look a little towards the wall and get on top of that door frame that's by library. Once doing so, you're going to do the same jump, but get on top of the painting that's over here by the library wall. After doing that, you're going to get on top of the balcony that's by the beams. Now, depending on side is or where you want your drone to face, what direction, you can head on over to this beam right here and catch a glimpse of who's on top of the mezzanine balcony. Or, what sometimes I like to do, in case they're playing basement, is I'll go on these beams and I'll do a lot of parkour with this one. This one might take some practice, but it works at the end of the day. And once you wake your way over to this last beam over here, you'll get a good glimpse of the fireplace and on top of mezzanine, but you'll be blocked by this pillar. But I like to do this one in case they're playing basement, so when you have people playing main stairs, you can catch the people that like to sneak their way up and maybe go for a little window run out, or maybe they're looking for a flank to go towards dining. This one catches a lot of uh, the bottom fireplace more than it does the top, but it's a good drone spot nonetheless. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the Shaolay one. So our next map for our next two drone spots is going to be Cafe, and I like these two drone spots because they're very universal and they work for every site. So what you're going to do is take your drone and head on over to White Stairs. Once you make your way to White Stairs, you're going to head on over to the second floor of the map. So this is where I was saying where these two drone spots are real good, and they're kind of right next to each other, but one of them I like better than the other, and I'll tell you why after. So with the first drone spot, you're going to head on over to the desk that's by this northeast corner. Jump on top of the lamp, and then once getting on top of the lamp, you'll do the same thing onto the painting. Once getting on the painting, you'll jump on top of the speaker. And you get, a, you get a white platform cam, and you also get a 90 cam. Now, this one isn't the best of the two, but it's still a good one, and it's universal, like I said. So it's going to catch everything. Those people that like to flank from red to white or white to red, vice versa. Or people that are trying to play verticality for that post plant or for the plant itself in cocktail and bar. Or maybe there's somebody playing upstairs while you guys are playing in kitchen. Or the defenders are playing in kitchen, per se. But it's a good drone spot. But I'll show you why the next one is similar, but it's better. So making your way onto the actual 90 part of the hallway, you're going to want to go over to this dresser that's at 90. Your drone's going to break the glass, and you're going to use that to your advantage. You're going to jump on top of the third shelf over here. Add your drone out a little bit to when it starts to go down. And you're going to strafe your drone once you jump up. After doing so, you're going to get on top of this ledge right here, you move on over to the edge off. of it, mine your drone up like I do to the ceiling, and just jump your drone. It'll get on top of this lamp right here that's at 90 right under the default cam. Then you're going to jump again, and get on top of the speaker. Now the reason why I said I like this one better uh, is because it kind of catches the same thing that this one does with the white hallway. Like, yeah, sure, you get a little more to the white stairs, but that's completely avoidable if you jump over the railing. But it still gets you the information of somebody making moves over by the white hallway going into 90. And I, again, I like this one better. Be not because of that, but because you get to see pillar. Now, a lot of people like to play this position, whether you're playing in cocktail bar or they're making their flanks just generally. Like, they're going to have to go through this entrance. 
and you'll see whether they're going to brown stairs, going red, red going brown, or red going white, white going red. It just, it sees more than the one that's over by the white hallway. So these are my favorite drone spots for cafe, and this is probably the preferable one to use. But the other one is just not as good, but it's a good one as well. But this is the preferable one to use. So next map, next drone spot is going to be in theme park, and this is going to be for a throne. Now for this drone spot, it's going to be very similar to the canal one, to where it takes patience and game sense to know when to jump, when to make sound cues, and when to position your drone. Sometimes you'll catch the defenders off guard, sometimes they'll catch your drone in the middle of doing this. I won't say it has a fantastic success rate, but it's been successful for me plenty of times to say it's, it's reliable, but at the same time, it's very risky. It's up to you to do it, obviously, but it's a good one nonetheless. So in this drone spot, it's definitely better to do in prep phase, but you can still do it during action phase because sometimes defenders will just leave throne sight. Like, uh, I, I, I notice this a lot in theme park is that defenders will just leave sights, and uh, especially in the lot in the beginning of the round. I mean, that's generally siege, but like, especially in theme park for some reason. Anyways, back to the drone spot. So you're gonna go through this drone hole. Let's say it's prep phase. Everybody's setting up. They're making the noise. You're gonna go over to these little head hole things for the paintings that, you know, these carnivals be having, whatever you wanna call this, the head hole, I guess. You're gonna head on over to this. Then you're gonna edge over a little bit. You're gonna strafe jump your drone to get on top of this ledge. And again, depending if they're reinforcing, how fast they're doing it, it takes game sense. Wait until they do the next one so that your drone has that little hidden sound cue when it jumps. Then you get on top of the speaker. And you get a good view into both sites, kind of. Not too much of armory, but you still get a solid one by the pillar. But you get a very good one into the throne. So this is definitely a useful drone. This is one of the harder ones to do. Not to do, but to get into. Because, again, it takes game sense, patience, knowing sound cues, when to use your drone to jump it into what. But it's a good one, nonetheless. You should give it a try. Don't be mad if it doesn't work the first time. You'll get used to it the more you do it. But it's a good one. So for the following map with the following drone spots, we're going to be going into the villa. The first drone spot is going to be on top of the red staircase by the lighting. Now let me show you. Now for this drone, it's very easy to do within prep phase. You're going to jump on top of this plant right here. Get on top of it, then go on to the next plant that's hanging by the wall. Once you get on top of that, you'll go on top of this curtain slash edge of the window. And boom, you got yourself a nice 90 cam and a red cam. And this is a pretty good universal cam because Villa is very... It doesn't have too many flank... Too, not too much flank potential per se, if that makes sense. Like, like everything that you have to do within Villa when it comes to rotation is going to mostly come through this way where the drone is facing. Whether that be it being red or 90, you pretty much catch the cutoffs, if that makes sense. So I love this drone spot. I literally use it every time I play Villa. Now... It's not too well hidden, but it is very easy to pass by. Like, there are plenty of people and players who know this drone spot, but there are plenty who also don't. Like, I feel like this is a solid, like, located a bomb. Um, I don't know. I'd say it's like a 70-30. Sometimes they'll see it. I think it, it's mostly seen during when people catch it during the prep phase. But, like, if nobody sees it or hears it during the prep phase, it most likely stays there the whole time. But there are plenty of people who will just charge to red stairs to watch those drones come up. So this is a good drone spot. I like it a lot. As you can see, it's very noticeable. But not too many people are looking over here at the light. They'll be looking down the staircase, not even paying attention to it. So this is one of my good drone spots. Let's go on to the next one. Now with this next drone spot, you're going to want to head on over to Astro Staircase. Once reaching the top of Astro Staircase, you're going to head on over to these black boxes over here and get to the very top black box. Once reaching the top black box, you're going to head on over to the top of the flag. Get the very bottom of it where that little lip is in the curve. After doing that, you're going to head on over to the corner of the north part of the beams. And you're going to play the little jump game because these things block your drone from moving over. Go to the most west part of it. And then you get a good drone into Astra. Now, if the site is Astro statue, this will be a very challenging drone to get to. But... For any other site, for people playing verticality or playing on roaming, for any other site, this is a very great drone to make sure that your pushes when you're going from side to side, like north to west, 
it's going to be a very great drone to keep for flanks or just to see if anybody's trying to contest you from making those roam clears. It's a great drone spot. I use this sometimes. I don't really make too much astro pushes, but if I ever do, this is a drone spot that I go to immediately. So for our next few drone spots, it's going to be inside the map of Outback. Now, these drone spots are going to be pretty much inside a garage and party. Now, let me show you. So when it comes to Outback, a lot of the time, players will tend to choose Laundry and Piano as their first choice. And this drone right here will pretty much catch any defender that's trying to lurk or roam inside of Garage or even go for that Garage runout to catch people off guard from outside of Reach. So first, you're going to hop on top of these power boxes right here. You're going to have to do two jumps because this jump is a little too high to do. But once you get those two jumps up, you're going to come up here. Then go on to this over by this AC unit. Get on top of here to the beams. Now, you can keep your drone here if you want to, if you want to catch between uh, both office and garage. But you can also play around with these beams and put your drones anywhere. Let's say you'd rather just watch out for somebody who's trying to do that dumbass garage door run out. You can run on top of this red beam right here, move on over, take over the default camera, and look a little more on over into garage like this. Or what you can do is get yourself a nice little office drone, that watches a little more into the staircase. It's pretty much the same thing, except you can just really catch the staircase guy a little more off guard. You know, kind of work your way with it. Back it up, and then you kind of catch it like this, you know? Kind of catch a staircase and uh, garage and lockers a little more. But it's the same thing. Pretty much the same thing, just up to the sides. Really good drone. I like this spot. So the next drone location is going to be in the beams of Shark Party slash Bull, whatever you want to consider this area right here pillar maybe i don't know either way i'm gonna show you how you guys can get onto these beams over here so what you're gonna do is you're gonna head on over to the bowl party table over here get on top of this tv set once you get on top of this tv set you're going to jump on top of these poles that are right here once doing so you're gonna head on over right here jump on top of the ledge that's over here inside of bowl and then you're just gonna ride along the beams and then do a little jump and what you do is you got yourself a nice little shark cam, bull cam. You can even, like, try and do some parkour with this. Come on top of here. Catch yourself a little really good shark cam like this. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, Outback. These are the drones that are not my – this one's not my go-to, but I'd say the, uh, the office one is. I like that one a lot. It's kind of commonly used, but I feel like a lot of people on the defensive side don't acknowledge it or they don't – Remember it because it's not the first thing they think of. Uh, I think it's more of an attacker thing that you really like to think of it as. Like, I, even myself as a defender, I really don't think to look on top of those beams a lot of the time. Or I can't say a lot of the time, but sometimes it will. I'll just, like, blankly forget about it. And then I'll look over and be like, oh, crap, they had my drone spot right there. Holy crap. But it's these, these are good drone spots. I like them. Outback's not my favorite map, but it's it's a cool. It's These are cool drone spots. I like them. So try and use them if you can. For our next drone spot is going to be inside of Lair by Lobby. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. Why would I even care about this one? Nobody plays Lair. I'm going to ban it every time it ranked. Well, sucks for you. You're going to learn it right now. So to get to this drone spot, what you're going to do is you're going to jump your drone on top of the railing of the staircase in Lobby. Then you get on top of this ledge right here. You're going to high jump onto the missile over here. Once doing so, you're going to jump again to get to the highest point over here. Then you're going to line yourself up with this pole that's connected to the missile. Then you're going to jump as high as you can on top of that missile. You'll get it at some point. You just got to look straight up the whole time and just jump, and your drone will get on top of it at some point. You just got to learn the angle on how to really jump your drone to it, just like so. And you can get yourself a nice, uh, nice little drone, 360 drone, into lobby. If you want, you can also head on over to the other missile as well and apply the same thing. I haven't experimented too much with uh, layer and drone spots, but this is the one of the ones that I found. I like it a lot. I think I saw something with uh, Coconut Bro where he got an Echo Drone over here maybe one time. Not sure if I remember if it was this spot specifically, but I think he did something with that over here. But either way, this is a nice drone spot that I like to use, and it's a pretty good one, solid one. I want to explore more into layer and find more spots, but it's a very clean-cut map. That's how the maps kind of have been for the new releases for Siege. Very clean and cut, so it's not really easy to hide slash jump your drones into things. So I'll do more exploring, hopefully find something new. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, learn some new spots. And if you guys have any spots of your own that you would like me to know about, I'm always willing to learn new things and just find fun things to do within the game. So just tell me your favorite spot in the comments or just let me know what your, uh, what your spots you use.
Have a good one, y'all. Peace.